Any workout using heart rate or cadence monitors will be built around the seven zones of training. These zones are based around a percentage of your lactate threshold heart rate, or THR. We'll show you how to find out your THR at the end of this video. If you don't have a heart rate monitor, don't worry, as these zones fit well within the rate of perceived exertion scale. Simply put, this is how you feel on the bike in each zone. But first, let's go over the seven zones of training. Zone one should feel very easy, with little pressure going through the pedals. Breathing will be light and conversation easy. It's usually used after a race or sportive event to aid recovery. Zone one is less than 65% of your THR. Zone two is more intense than zone one. Conversation while riding should still be easy, but breathing will be a little heavier. Well-trained riders can perform over three hours at this intensity back to back. Zone two is 70 to 83% of THR. Breathing is getting sharper now, with more concentration required to maintain the effort. The result is it's harder to talk, and will be starting to feel uncomfortable. Fueling is important in this zone, especially if doing back-to-back -back days. Zone 3 blocks usually last around 20 minutes, and up to an hour, depending on the intensity. Zone 3 is 84 to 95% of THR. In zone four, conversation while riding will be almost impossible, and your breathing will be heavy, but not strained. You'll be feeling the lactate burn, and it will require concentration and determination to stay in this zone. These efforts usually last up to two by 20 minutes, and it can be hard to do back-to-back -back days. Zone four is 95 to 105% of THR, but it may take a few minutes for your heart rate to rise to this level. This is a hard and painful zone, so you should be suffering. Breathing will be heavy and the effort will be difficult to maintain. If you have all of the above sensations, you're in the right place. These efforts usually last three to eight minutes and they're difficult to do on back-to-back -back days. Zone five is 106% plus of THR, although the lag from heart rate will make it hard to get your average heart rate right during these efforts. So concentrate on how your body is feeling. These efforts are very painful and not far off a maximum sprint effort. They should only be sustainable for 30 seconds to three minutes. Any longer and you're probably not trying hard enough. They'll be very hard to do on back-to-back -back days. Heart rate is too difficult to go by in these efforts due to the lag in response from the effort being undertaken. Basically, it should hurt a lot. No parameters here just as hard as you can possibly go. Zone seven efforts are usually around 10 seconds in duration. To find your lactate threshold heart rate or THR, perform a 30 minute time trial all by yourself. It should be done as if it were a race for the entire 30 minutes, so it's going to hurt. At 10 minutes into the test, press the lap button on your heart rate monitor. Stay focused and push hard throughout the remaining 20 minutes. Once you've finished, press the lap button on your heart rate monitor again and look to see what your average heart rate was for the last 20 minutes. That number is an approximation of your THR and you can use it to work out the different heart rates for your training zones. You should go hard for the entire 30 minutes. However, most people doing this test go way too hard in the first few minutes and then gradually slow down. This technique will give you inaccurate results. The more often you do this test, the more accurate your THR is likely to be, as you will learn to pace yourself better from the start.